Root Geometry Nodes tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can make an edge detection even in Eevee, um, but just for planes, so uh, simplified version. So I have here uh, some kind of uh, plane which I can um, randomize and you see it uh, rises the edges pretty well and you can change of course uh, some parameter if you want to. Example given you can um, change here the, the threshold to your edge so as you can see the edge uh, goes inside or if you want a thinner edge you can make this value uh, lower and of course you can use uh, the distance value here to color wise uh, with the color ramp your colors if you want to have gradient or something like this so i don't want to waste your time let's get wide start that we start with a brand new file here and we're gonna delete the default queue i'm gonna turn on my screencast key so you can see what i'm doing here and i'm starting with a curve and a curve circle make this a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna add a geometry nodes modifier here. And um, this is just for making uh, the plane. Of course, you can uh, use your plane in here. I just use this. Then I do a fill curve and I'm gonna do a set position. And I'm gonna randomize the position by a noise texture here. And as you can see, it does not work. Uh, then I have to resample the curve to get uh, more points here. So we can uh, get some edges, as you can see. And we just want to randomize the x and y values. So I use the vector math node here. And I just multiply with uh, one on x and y so i can mask out the z value um, before i do that i use a subtract with uh, dot five so it uh, stays in the middle if i change here the values this looks good to me of course you can change here the scale however you want that's uh, the values aren't uh, too worth uh, too wild. Oh, I have of course used multiply, I'm sorry. Um, and then, and of course you can here change the, the value that are not gone too wild, as you like it. So I'm gonna put out here, I use the 4D and the V value, so I can change it outside. So like here, I can change the value, this is nice. But now, at your, as you can see, the viewport display wireframe, it's not so good topology. That's why I use a trick here and I use the remesh modifier. What this does, as you can see, it makes nice quad faces. And this is exactly what you want because now we can add another geometry nodes. Uh, modifier. And what we need here is first uh, merge by distance because the remesh modifier um, creates often double vertices so we have no problems here. We need this, it's very important. And then what we do is just um, a mesh edge neighbors. And we use this face count because an edge has just one face neighbor and so we compare this to just simple one and then we do a separate geometry and we separate only that and as you can see this does not work because we need the one And, of course, we want to see the inverted here. And with the selection, this is now our edge, we do a geometry proximity. So we search here for proximity. And we do this to edges. And then we do a set position 
and move it a bit up so we can see something. And we do this with a specific value. So we use a math node here, less than, and if the distance is less than a, a specific point, as you can see here, then we are at the edge. And this is the result, and I think it's pretty nice. And as you can see here, if we randomize uh, our uh, plane, it uh, still works pretty well. Now, how do I get color in this? Well, pretty easy. We change here to uh, that we can see the color. We add here a set material node. We choose the color and we plug the distance into the value here. Then we use this dist. Then we open here a shader editor and there we take our material. Then we search our attribute, which was dist, and we plug this in a color ramp, and we plug the factor in here and the color, and you can already see something. I prefer to, to see real colors, so I see a little bit more, so I make here a wet and green, and you see you get also a nice gradient here. And as I said, uh, you can play with these values here and you can uh, make your, uh, I add a group input example given, you can play with this less than and then you get uh, a bigger edge if you want to have it, as you can see here. I think this is a um, pretty good technique. You can, example given, build uh, of the shore from, from a river or something like this, and you can put geometry on it or whatever you like. I hope you learned something. I hope you like it. Have fun. Bye.